What's going on guys? We are here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, which is about 20 minutes east of Nashville. And we're staying here at the Cracker Barrel, another pavement paradise. Check this out. Well, if you guys have been following along at all, you know we like to stay at free places and Cracker Barrel is a great place because most of them let you stay for free. Most of them let you, the ones that don't, typically it's because the city, the city ordinances for whatever reason don't allow overnight parking. But here in Mount Juliet, they allow it. And it was fantastic last night. Well, except for there was someone over at the uh, hotel over there running a really loud generator all night long. Other than that, it was perfect. Now it is right next to the freeway right over here and we have the off ramp right here behind me, but honestly it's not that bad. If noise bothers you, wear earplugs or find a different solution. But this place, this place was great. It is fairly level. As you can see, I had to run my truck up on the blocks, the yellow blocks, which I do that all the time. And I also had to put the trailer up on a couple two by sixes just to lift it up a little bit more too. But all in all, not too bad. If I didn't have any blocks, we'd survive. It'd be off a little bit, but it's not bad. We pulled in last night about seven o'clock and we went in and ate some dinner. Man, I gotta tell you honestly, the, the price of food, I was surprised. I thought it would have been a lot more expensive. It wasn't bad at all and actually tasted pretty good. So if you're planning on stopping by one of these Cracker Barrels or any place, you might wanna check ahead of time to see if they do allow it. Like I say, some cities do not allow that. Luckily, this city, Mount Juliet, they allow it. And it was fantastic. Now obviously there's no hookups or anything like that. There's no water, there's no power or anything like that. It's just camping on pavement, kind of like staying at a rest stop or a Walmart. But you know, the best part is it's free. It's free. We were gonna go somewhere for dinner last night anyway. So it worked out that we went in, got a good meal, and then we got to stay here for free. Definitely recommend it. And as you can see, there's plenty of space to park. They do have some RV designated areas, but those are kind of a little shorter, maybe for some motorhomes or a small trailer or something. But when we got here, it seems like a lot of either employees or customers park in the RV spots. So when I was looking and checking out, I noticed on, on uh, Google Maps that people parked right where I'm at with the trailer. They parked over here on the side by the hotel with trailers. And honestly, when it's nine o'clock, they close down and everyone goes home. It's perfect. There's no one out here. And another good thing, staying at the Cracker Barrel or a free spot, is it frees up your money to spend on other things, which we're gonna need, because we're heading to Pigeon Forge for the kids' birthdays. It's gonna be splendid, fantastic. It's gonna be a tourist trap that's gonna steal most of my money. But that's okay. We're doing it for the kids. And you don't have to, but if you do stay at one of these Cracker Barrels, you might consider buying a meal from them. It's not required, but think about it. You got a free place. You probably need to put some food in your belly. And this would be a fantastic place to do that. And this particular Cracker Barrel is a great place to stay. If you were passing through Nashville like we did, we went and looked at Johnny Cash's old house, the house that he, the house that he spent the last 35 years of his life where he died at. Now the house did burn down, but you can see the foundation and just see where that, it's cool to go see. They have a little plaque and stuff up like that. Then we also stopped by his grave site. Check that out, I'm a Johnny Cash fan, so we went and did all that. And then of course, we're in Nashville. We had to go by the Grand Old Opry. So me and a couple kids and my mom, we went over to the Grand Old Opry and just, just peeked around. Just peeked around. And that was great too. Which then led us to this spot right here. Our free oasis of pavement. It's fantastic. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for this short little video about the Cracker Barrel. Another great free place to stay if you're traveling. I haven't been to many Cracker Barrels. The ones I have been to, they're great. They're just like this. Easy parking. Most of the time they're pretty level. If you got some blocks like we do, you have no problems. All right guys, well, stay tuned for the next video. Keep an eye out for my new series, Common Sense RV, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.